As COVID cases and hospitalizations rise, several infusion centers across Texas are running out of monoclonal antibodies to treat patients. The state says those centers won't be getting more shipments until next month. Fox's Lynn Ann Wynn spoke to people searching for help. I was very frightened. I was very frightened. And um, my husband, I knew, I could tell by the look on his face that he was concerned too, just because of how rapidly it was taking over. Anne McSwain tested positive for COVID-19 last week, and very quickly, her symptoms got worse. She, along with her husband, who also tested positive, tried contacting several different facilities looking for monoclonal antibodies with no luck. There's one in Fort Worth, um, and I want to say one in Rockwall. Both of those were, were out. Then she referred my husband and I to Baylor Grapevine to see if they had any connections, and they were out as well. Like the McSwains, Jamie Wilder spent hours on the phone looking for the treatment for her 74-year-old mother, who, along with Wilder herself, recently tested positive for COVID-19. They're like, we're completely out. We don't know when we're getting more. Um, so there were several places. I think I probably called 10 places. Both families were eventually able to find treatment in Ferris. McSwain says she started feeling better within 12 hours and was lucky she didn't have to wait longer for an appointment. I think I would probably be in a hospital by now. Um, there was no way as rapidly as it was taking over that um, I, I, don't, I don't see any other route. But like so many others across the Metroplex, the infusion center in Ferris has also run out of the treatment this week, turning dozens of people away every day. We have a, a, over 160 people a day that are needing to be treated, and we simply don't have the doses anymore. Last week, the Department of Health and Human Services announced a pause in shipments of monoclonal antibodies like Regeneron, which have been shown to be less effective against the Omicron variant. Regeneron, while it was about 80 to 90 percent effective against the Delta variant, is only about 30 to 40 percent effective against Omicron. However, I'd rather have a 30 to 40 percent chance of helping somebody than a zero percent chance. A different treatment called Citrovimab is more effective against Omicron, but the supply isn't there. The state health department says due to a national shortage, regional infusion centers in several cities, including Fort Worth, Austin and El Paso, have run out of it, leaving families desperately looking for treatment options to prevent more severe illness and hospitalization.